Hey guys, I'm excited about this video, the way aviation brings us together. How I randomly hooked up with Dave Sparks, Heavy D, and Cletus McFarland, Garrett Mitchell, great guys, and the fun things we get to do in the future because aviation, this small world, brought us together in a random way. I hope you like this video. Let's get to work. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. Hey guys, we're gonna try something a little different on this video. I just wanna talk about how much I love aviation and our family of aviators. And quite frankly, how small the world is and how many more friends we get to make by just being in something we're really passionate about. And that could be race cars, helicopters, aircraft, hobbyists, it doesn't matter. Join whatever group that is that you have a passion for. Hopefully it's things that fly, but ultimately you're gonna find some of the greatest people you've ever met. I wanna talk about some really great people I've met that a lot of you may already know since I turned up on some of their videos. I had a lot of questions coming. How did you meet these guys? Where did you pair up? And I just want to tell you a little bit about it and how aviation brought us together. So I saw all the time, and these two people are Dave Sparks and Cletus McFarlane or Garrett Mitchell. <laughs> I didn't know his real name until not too long ago, but they both have great channels. I met them through aviation and oddly enough, I would see lots of people commenting on my YouTube channel about Mike, you need to meet up and go do a vehicle rescue with Dave Sparks. Go in the backcountry, use your helicopter with his helicopter, take your six wheel drive Jeep of yours, Mike, and go help out Dave Sparks on a project. And then also equally I had a bunch of people hitting me up and saying, you and the Cletus McFarland channel need to get together and you need to meet Garrett and you guys got to do something with his race cars and he's into helicopters. And these comments came about all the time and then oddly enough, without any effort, all three of us found our way to each other. And it first started out with Dave Sparks um, is into helicopters and he's not too far from here. He's just an hour north of me. And uh, he knew I was into helicopters and we started communicating on aircraft, you know, which aircraft he's looking at. I had several Epic LTs. He was looking at Epic LTs and just became close friends talking about airplanes and helicopters. And then randomly, I get a call one day from Dave and he says, Mike, I've got Garrett Mitchell with me and he wants to come down he watches your channel. He loves your airplane builds. He just wants to come see your hangar. And sure enough, a few minutes later, Dave shows up in his B-105 helicopter, lands right out front here, and I get to meet Garrett, who is absolutely every bit of the nicest guy down to earth. What you see on his channel is who he is. You know, that usually is the case, but every now and then you wonder or you get a little disappointed when you meet someone you look up to that just is great. He is genuinely an amazing human being. And same with Dave, just a great person. And so that's kind of how we all paired up. And subsequently, we're doing more and more things together. And there are we have plans to do stuff up with Dave and I have plans to do stuff with Garrett and you guys are gonna see all that. Right now, I'm gonna take off and uh, go see Garrett and go see the Freedom Factory. He invited me down. Unfortunately, I was going down to uh, clean up a water reclamation site where there was a hazardous spill, a water disaster in Florida that my EcoVat product is gonna go help clean up. So I was gonna be in the area and we connected. And while I'm there, I'm gonna go spend some time with Garrett and he's gonna take me up in his helicopter and we're gonna do a little photo shoot on the site. He's gonna show me his Freedom Factory, his oval track, which is I'm super excited to see and the drag track and uh, everything he's doing down there. So I'm really excited to spend some time with some of my new friends in aviation. What does a typical day for you consist of? Um, uh, filming videos. Yeah, content? Videos. Sure. Every day. Okay. Edit at night, film videos during the day. Okay. Do you do a lot of your editing? I do all my editing. You do all your editing? Holy crap. Which I think is holy. I need to change. Oh, I don't know how you do it. Is it hard to let go? Is that the Hard deal? I go, but I'm like, I really need to. It takes up a lot of my time. Yeah. Yeah. You got yeah. to keep happy. That's amazing. So I know. That is amazing. Pitch something out. I'm blown away, actually. <laughs> yeah. She's That's pretty cool about letting me in. Yeah. That's the, what we got to show Mike is the nitrous chair. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a spicy video. <laughs> I know you don't like it. I know you don't like it. <laughs> put two nitrous bottles on an office chair and he sat in it. And yeah. Like, it went 
Way better than. <laughs> way better. <laughs> it was way worse than expected. Was, I don't know what the RPM was on it. If anyone ever calculated, you couldn't it. measure the RPM. Yeah. No. You, you. So we did. We did the math. I hit uh, 21 G's at the peak. Right. Holy. Oh. But it was yeah. really quick. It was for a nanosecond. Yes. 21 G's. Pow. Two. Three. My friend's dead. That's what I thought. He's like, <laughs> and I thought, you know, and it's going to be two broken legs for me to stop. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. is, I'm going to break his legs if I just run in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw you hesitate, bro. Right. Slow down. Yeah, think about it. Okay. Uh, I, never I, again. Okay. If I base it off of that video, I think you shouldn't do your flying car. Right <laughs> that was early. That was early. We've learned a lot. A long way. Maybe that was back before we didn't know that we, what we were doing. We didn't call it. We thought we knew yeah. what we were doing. Now we know we don't know what we were that doing. Was, there you go. That's safer. That was an unknown unknown, right? And we'll never do it again. We'll never do anything ever again like that. That was an adult learning. All right, guys, so this is the Freedom Factory. Cletus was nice enough to allow us to, to, to let us in through the gate. Farm truck is obviously sabotaging um, everything. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mike, for, for letting us have a nice conversation. But wait, there's more. Mike, we went with a casual tour of the Freedom Factory, and now we're drifting with farm truck. <laughs> you know, why am I not surprised that this randomly happens? What could go wrong? <laughs> Out 
Hey guys, gonna pause from this video just for a second. We'll get back into it. I wanna give you a quick update about what's been going on in the last six months of the life of Mike Patey and building airplanes. So first of all, we have been building airplanes. There's one that has not been announced yet that has been in the works. That will be coming out. I don't know when, but it will be coming out. It is something I do get to share. And then also I wanna give you a quick update on Scrappy and then kind of what has occupied most of my time. So Scrappy, by the way, has been been unbelievable. I couldn't be happier with how it's flying, how well the wing works. And overall, um, it's just been squawk free. It's from first flights, test flights, out to Oshkosh and back, and then taking motorcycles up on the mountain. This plane has just been a dream. And I got to tell you, I always thought it'd be cool to put motorcycles on the plane. It's absolutely so much more than I ever imagined. It changes the way I look at backcountry flying and all the trips I've been on. There's so many places I landed and hiked around, but kind of just migrated right around the plane. But there may have been down in the trees, a river or waterfall I wanted to see, but it's just hours away by foot. Scrappy having motorcycles with me completely changes all these places I want to go back to and explore and just opens up my eyes to the backcountry flying experience if I have a couple of motorcycles. So uh, I'm really happy with how it went and I haven't had to do anything with it other than we want to put turbos on it. So I'm going to go ahead and announce that right now. What? I am going to pull Scrappy out of commission. It is officially down for the count because I've now pulled off the exhaust and started pulling everything apart and designing a turbo system. Now, it's not gonna go as fast as the normal build you see of mine because this is taking second stage to something else, uh, two other projects. Of course, the other aircraft build I'll announce later, but also the last six months, we've been working on a house for my wife and I. We're really excited about it, but we had a really unfortunate setback. If you ever, any of you have designed a house from scraps, like I like to pen and paper and then convert to comp computer, we got it all the way designed, sent it into the city and then had a huge letdown. Found out that where we wanted to put a pool in the backyard, they wouldn't allow it because of proximity to a big river flowing through the back. Flatly rejected. Uh, apparently that setback does not allow a swimming pool. So we had to trash it. So for the last six months, I've been working on house plans and then had it dropped in the garbage. But like most unfortunate setbacks, you usually come out with something way better if you keep pushing forward. So it led to something I'm even more excited about. And if you guys want me to do videos on this crazy house build, let me know. But let me tell you a little bit about it right here. The house couldn't be done in the backyard. They said there's no way to do a pool there because of it. So we redesigned the house and I'm putting the pool on the roof. So it completely meant redrawing the house. So the last six months have been occupied redrawing another set of plans to build a house. But ultimately, I'm even more excited about it. It's on the second floor, then there's a main floor, and then there is a basement in this house. As I started engineering, putting it on the top floor. Now, to give you an idea, it ends up being standing on the pool deck, looking over into the river that prevented us from building below in the backyard. It's almost 22 feet down. And then below that would be basement. And when I was designing it, I suddenly realized it'd be pretty neat to have a pool that could be really deep to do scuba training in, or even just put on breather masks and be able to swim deep and get those little powered electric, um, I don't know what you call them, but you hold on to them and drive them around a pool and race around and be able to go a couple stories deep. And so in the engineering, I designed part of the pool to go down both floors and into the basement. And that area has windows going out to the backyard. So you can see people swimming down deep or being motored around on the little devices. Or if you're inside, you can, well, kind of see out, it'd be blurry. But anyway, uh, I'm super excited about it. And then when I was designing that, I realized, you know what? It's a little bit scary to have a pool that deep if you want to bring little kids over. And I hope one day to have grandkids. If my kids don't let me down, I'm going to have grandkids someday. So none yet. My brother Mark, my brother Mark is, uh, <laughs> I hit comments from one of my kids in the background. My, my brother, Mark, is way ahead of me and got grandkids, but I hope to have some before too long. So I don't want a pool that goes that deep if the grandkids come over. So I came up with an idea to make the bottom of the pool raise and lower. So I could have the pool 20 some odd feet deep and then hit a button and transfer the floor up 
to bring it into a shallow sport pool for volleyball and things like that. I love engineering. This is something new I've never done. So we're gonna do it together. If you wanna see me build a pool that has a movable floor that sits on the roof of a house, let me know and maybe I can do some videos about building this crazy house. It is certainly gonna take a lot of my time away from building airplanes. My airplane hobby always comes second, third, family, work and then airplanes but it's my passion <laughs> the airplanes is before work but <laughs> it ends up being my airplanes always has to come night and weekends uh now we're gonna throw in the mix of building an entire house i hope it goes well but i am excited because it's a ton of work and i absolutely love work let me know in the comments if you want to see some of that craziness of this crazy pool i've designed into this house uh also i do want to say thank you guys gosh i almost forgot i'm super excited guys we had introduced a new program so that myself and all of you that have contributed to my channel by buying shirts, hats, gear, or even just donating to help people get into aviation. The program's working great. We have money and we've actually already had several flight schools sign up and individuals sign up to see if they could get a free first flight paid for by me and all of you. So many have signed up and we have already been announcing winners. The flight schools have been sent checks. First flight programs are already going and they're recording them. So we're gonna show you some clips of a later video of how well this is working. We are bringing new people into general aviation, which is so exciting to grow our family. So thank you very much, all of you that are supporting the channel and helping out because we're spinning it around and giving it back and it is working. And First Flight program is off the ground and running. So MikePady.com if you wanna get gear and support the program or MikePady.com if you want to get your first flight paid for by me and all of you by contributing or if you're a flight school that would like to receive some money where you can go find people that are deserving and give them a first flight paid for by us. Join it on MikePady.com. Thank you guys, I love you so much. Let's get back to the video. I hope you appreciate the update. We'll keep building airplanes as long as this knucklehead can walk. And I hope you follow along all the way to that end. Love you guys, get back to work. Scrappy needs a bath or we need to get out in the dirt again, <laughs> one or the other. Um, hey, I just got back and had the greatest time in Florida. I went and checked on one of my EcoVap towers down in uh, near Tampa, Florida, just south of Tampa, Florida. Uh, everything's going great there, so I'm really excited about that company. It's really taken off in environmental cleanup. But I got to spend a couple of days with Garrett Mitchell and just the greatest guy. We went out to the track and we were just, we didn't plan on any of this. We first, we planned on going and taking his helicopter and seeing some of his stuff and he flew me around, great pilot. Pilots, great chopper pilots, awesome to fly with them. And uh, it was nice just to sit in the seat and just enjoy the view while he flew. Went and saw his shop where he delivers his product, where he makes all his crazy, radical, super fun cars. I could live in that shop just like I like living in this one. The idea was just to go wander the Freedom Factory track, racetrack, and kind of get to just check it out. And then out of nowhere, farm truck and Asians show up and it wasn't planned at all. And so now we've gone from just meeting a couple youtubers to even more and you know what those guys are awesome so farm truck and asian you guys are welcome anytime i hope you come out to utah and hang out i'm sure there's some crazy thing we could do together between airplanes and the way you do cars and racing there's got to be something we put together so if you guys watching this video want to see us do something with farm truck and asian and farm truck and asian this is an official invite we need to do something together also for sure we're going to do something with garrett at the freedom factory and we have lots of ideas but anyway randomly farm truck and asian show up and they're like hey maybe we should pull the truck out and run around the track and then garrett says to me he says mike do you want to jump in my car and go ride with them and we'll drift around them and from 30 minutes of meeting those guys for the first time we're on the track racing around. And I gotta tell you, I'm used to flying some really fast aircraft and pulling some heavy Gs. And oh my gosh, Garrett, you gave me the ride of my life. There's something about sitting in the passenger seat that I think makes it a little scarier. I'm used to being in the other side, hucking the throttle and, and doing something crazy, but I had the ride of my life. We raced around the track, it was so much fun. So great guys, all of them, genuine, true, good character guys. Stuff that you'll never see on video just
just conversations we had off screen, genuine people. It's, it's really great to meet good, kind, genuine people. So I always like to have those kinds of people in my life. So that's my reach out so that in the future we get to do fun things together, work and play. So I'm sure we're going to be doing both. So it was a great trip. You guys, thanks for following along. We're going to put something together. If you want to see something with any of these guys, whether it's Dave Sparks, Garrett Mitchell, Farm Truck and Asian, throw out some ideas. What would be a crazy collaboration if we did something with any of these groups, all of us together, parts, throw out ideas. What do you want to see come out of this knucklehead or those guys? Throw out some ideas. Maybe we can put it off, pull it together and put out a video, but I know for sure I'll be out to that racetrack sometime with an aircraft. We're gonna do something cool. I hope you guys will be following along. Subscribe, and I hope you guys like this channel. Like those other guys' channels if you haven't already. We appreciate it, we love all of you. Let's get back to work.